In this video, let us solve example 13 of the chapter triangles. The question is BL and CM are the medians of the triangle ABC right angled at A. Prove that 4 into BL square plus CN square is equal to 5BC square. What is given in the question? A right angled triangle ABC right angled at angle A. What else is given? BL and CN are the medians. Means L is the midpoint of AC and N is the midpoint of AB. What is to prove? 4 into BL square plus CN square is equal to 5BC square. Now let us prove. Here we want BL, CN and BC. This is BL, this is CN, this is BC. All are the hypotenuse of some right angle triangle. Now let us concentrate on BC. BC is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle ABC. So, BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square because of Pythagoras theorem. Let this be equation number 1. Now, let us concentrate on BL. Where is BL? This is BL which belongs to the right angle tri triangle BAL. So, now in right angle triangle BAL, BL is the hypotenuse. So, BL square is equal to AB square plus AL square. Why? Because of Pythagoras theorem. Uh, let us retain BL square and AB square. But uh, now let us change AL square into what? What is AL? It is half AC. Because BL is the median. So, L is the midpoint. So, now let us change AL square into half the AC the whole square. So, BL square is equal to AB square plus half AC square. Now, let us uh, square this one. What it is? 1 by 4 AC square. So, BL square is equal to AB square plus 1 by 4 AC square. Now LCM of AB square and 1 by 4 AC square is 4. So now we can write BL square is equal to 4 AB square plus AC square by 4. Now let us transpose 4 to this side. So 4 BL square is equal to 4 AB square plus AC square. Let this be equation number 2. Now let us concentrate on CN square. Where is CN? This is CN. Which is the hypotenuse of uh, triangle CAN. So now in right angle triangle NAC. Here CN is the hypotenuse. So CN square is equal to AC square plus AN square. Because of Pythagoras theorem. Now let us write AN in terms of AB. How? If you observe AN, N is the midpoint of AB. So now we can write AN as half AB. So AN square as half AB the whole square. So CN square is equal to AC square plus half AB the whole square. Half AB the whole square is equal to 1 by 4 AB square. So CN square is equal to AC square plus 1 by 4 AB square. Here LCM is 4. So CN square is equal to 4 AC square plus AB square by 4. Now let us transpose 4 to this side. So, 4 CN square is equal to 4 AC square plus AB square. Let this be the equation number 
3. Now we have three equations. This is equation number 1, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3. Here we are needed to add BL square and CN square. So if you add equation number 2 and 3, you will get 4 into BL square plus CN square. So now let us add equation number 2 and equation number 3. 4 is common here. So let us bring it outside the bracket. BL square plus CN square is equal to here 4AB square plus AB square. What it is? 5AB square. Here AC square plus 4AC square. What it is? 5AC square. 4 into BL square plus CN square is equal to here 5 is common. 5 into AB square plus AC square. Here observe AB square plus AC square. It belongs to the right angle triangle BAC. So, AB square plus AC square is equal to BC square. So, now we can uh, rewrite it as 5 into BC square. So, 4 into BL square plus CN square is equal to 5 BC square. This is what we are needed to prove this one. Hence proved.